truly pardon and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever. Willingly. 
designing the temple and supervising its construction yourself, the faithful celebrated the consecration of the new church, singing the hymn of thanksgiving, Alleluia.
study their languages and traditions, to gather with the audience and clean it, they learn to praise the Almighty Creator. <coughs> with the song of thanksgiving, Alleluia.
inspired by your vision, courage, and perseverance. Pray, therefore, that we may be accounted worthy to continue your work in the new world and to sing gratefully to the Lord. Again and again, on bended knees, let us pray to our holy hierarch, Father Innocent. O holy hierarch and Father Innocent, the Lord chose you and ordained you to go and bring forth much fruit in his new vineyard on the frontiers of Russia and America. You dedicated your life to the building up of the body of Christ in the new, in the new world and the old and brought the treasures of the holy apostolic faith to Alaska and Siberia. We, your spiritual children, <coughs> <coughs> Kneel before your holy icon and relics and ask you to intercede for the Holy Orthodox Church in your adopted and native lands. As you are humble and kind, help us by your prayers to be patient and generous. As you persevered under difficult circumstances in a remote and lonely region, strengthen us in our dedication to Christ and his gospel. As you loved God and your flock and devoted your life in service to them, Pray to our Lord that our hearts may be filled with love for him and our neighbor. You planted the seeds of the Orthodox faith <coughs> in Alaskan soil. 
Implore the Lord that we may be accounted worthy to continue the work of, of your so, <coughs> you so gloriously began to bring the light of Christ to every corner of America. You indicated the way into the kingdom of heaven by your words and example. <coughs> Intercede for the salvation of all of us who venerate your holy memory. By your holy prayers, may we become worthy of the precious spiritual heritage which God has entrusted to us through you and sing eternally the praises of the holy consubstantial and life creating trinity the father and the creator who is the beginning the son our lord and Sa god and savior who became man in order to sanctify and save us and the comforter the holy spirit who enlightens and enlivens all now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee. Hearken and have mercy. Again we pray for his beatitude, our Metropolitan Herman. Metropolitan Tikon, His Grace, our Bishop Paul, for priesting is all the clergy and for all thy brethren in Christ. Again we pray for the President of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces everywhere. We have sinned and we have transgressed, and therefore thy righteous anger has visited us, O Lord our God. And the darkness of death has encompassed us, and we have drawn nigh to the gates of Hades. But with compunction we cry out to thee, our God, in our infirmities. Spare, O spare thy people, and destroy us not utterly. Humbly we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. O Lord, who rulest by life and by death, do thou not enclose the souls of thy servants in death, but turn aside from wrath and forsake anger. For our days vanish like smoke, and our strength has wasted away, and we are perishing utterly because of our sins. Be thou merciful unto thy servants who are repenting with tears. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Remember that we are flesh, O Lord, whose breath, when it departs, shall not return, and mercifully turn aside thy wrath that has justly taken hold of us, by which, as with a sword, thou hast grievously visited us. Do thou set aright the pain, and appease the wounds, and that are suddenly destroying us. For the dead do not praise thee, neither all them that have descended into Hades. But we, the living, praise thee, and groaning with pain in our hearts, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. More than all others, we have sinned against thee, and we have transgressed, O Master, and we have not acquired repentance instead of repentance except our offering. And having set thyself to mercy as thou art almighty, free thy servants from death, bearing sickness and grievous afflictions, groaning in pain, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Remember not the transgressions and unrighteousness of thy people, and enter not into judgment with thy servants, neither incline with wrath because of thy servants. If thou markest iniquities, O Lord, who could stand? For we are dust and ashes, and our substance is nothing before thee. But as thou art compassionate and the lover of mankind, show loving kindness and do not destroy us in thine anger on account of our transgressions. We pray thee, O most good God, hearken and have mercy. O 
thou who desirest not the death of sinners, but that they turn back and live as the fountain of life, give life unto us who are worthy of death by thy righteous judgment. For thou art God who rulest by life and by death, destroy us not in the wrath of thy threatening with great lamentation in the affliction of our hearts and with tears. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Look down with mercy upon the affliction of thy people, O Lord, and showing loving kindness with thine outstretched arm. Do thou command the angel that is destroying us, as once in the time of David thou didst give command, that it is enough, and stay his hand, that he not destroy us utterly. For we also, confessing unto thee in repentance, as did David, cry out, We have sinned and we have transgressed. <laughs> None of us are worthy of thy tender mercy. But as thou art compassionate, do thou thyself who alone art being entreated because of thy loving kindness. Show thine ancient mercy and spare the people and the sheep of thy pasture. We pray thee, quickly hearken and have mercy. Again, we pray for the servants of God. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all those suffering the effects of the ongoing coronavirus pandemic, and all the ill afflicted, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Furthermore, we pray for the people here present, awaiting from thee great and bountiful mercies for all the brethren and for all Christians. For thou art a merciful God and loves mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. O God, almighty Lord of heaven and earth and all creation, visible and invisible, in thine ineffable goodness, look down upon us, thy people gathered in thy holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. Thou knowest our weakness. Thou hearest our crying, repentance, and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the impending threat of the coronavirus. Send thine angel to watch over us and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of the physicians, nurses, and healthcare workers, and among them, Nicola, Donald, Kate, Stacy, Gabby, Alexandra, Debbie, Nicholas, Michaela, Stephanie, Joe, Megan, Katrina, Ed, Amanda, Megan, Melinda, Brian, Hannah, Gia, Gia, Eric, Ashley, Brittany, Tyler, Ted, Michelle, Leela, Alex, Meredith, Greg, Diane, Christine, Rohit, Stephen, Brian, Christopher, William, George, James, Amy, Lillian, Barry, Kristen, Thomas, Love, Jessica, Karen, Colleen, Herman, Cheryl, Marcy, Danielle, and Joseph, Judith, Jason, Alicia, Gordon, Jessica, Caitlin, Derek, Alexandra, Victoria, Leah, Emily, Stephanie, Matthew, Megan, Joya, Ruth, Lori, Linda, Anna, Leslie, Katie, Natalie, Natalie, Natasha, Kira, Nancy, Nicole, Stanley, David, Roxanne, Julie, Brittany, Matushka Sharon, Matushka Larissa, Matushka Elizabeth, Michelle, Allison, Jessica, John, Rohit, Casey, Caitlin, Chrissy, Danielle, Maria, Upa, Upa Ponte, Marina, Chris, Jamie, Jennifer, Andrew, David, Chris, Stephanie, Michael, Stephanie, Lindsay, Aaron, Alicia, Diane, Tasha, Stephanie, Eva, Rachel, Angela, Wilson, Lynn, Robert, Jody, Emily, Becca, Chelsea, David, Stephen, John, Juliana, Elena, Marie, Kira, Debbie, David, Stephen, Kat, Sheila, Josh, Morgan, Tiffany, Zana, Jen, Kristen, Rachel, Lexi, Lori, Alexander, Amanda, Deborah, Joseph, Barrett, Anmar, Dave, Uncle, Khalid, Brian, Justin, Greg, Stephanie, Michelle, Christine, Michelle, Stacy, Freeland, Lois, Demetra, Natalie, Lauren, Melissa, Stephen, Sarah, Costa, Stephanie, Linda, Andy, Claudia, Nick, Rachel, Colette, Mark, Ann, and Tracy. 
and preserve all those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, that together we may glorify thy most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Wisdom most holy, Theotokos, save us. Glory to thee, O Christ our God, and our sure hope. Glory to thee. Christ, our true God, through the prayers of his most true mother, the holy, glorious, and laudable apostles, the power of the precious life, creating cross of our Father among the saints, Nicholas, the wonder worker, Archbishop Mary Lycia, the patron of this holy temple, of the holy, equal to the apostles, innocent, enlightener of Alaska and North America, whom we commemorate today, of the holy and righteous ancestor God, Joe, coming out of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us for as much as he is good and loves mankind. Amen. O Lord and Master of my life, take from me the spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and idle talk. But give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Yea, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions and not to judge my brother, for blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. O oh God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. O oh God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. O oh God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. O oh God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. O oh God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. O oh God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. O oh Lord and Master of my life, take from me the spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and idle talk but give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servant. Yea, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions and not to judge my brother, for blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. (laughs) 